Hello everybody, this is Zarin Zephyr and today we got two new arcade cabinets that came in from my friends over at GameSaru, uh, David and Misu uh, were kind enough to get this out for me. Uh, it is a very rainy day, I probably should have told them not to deliver this but we tried to get these in as fast as we could and um, I, had to, I had to dry it off so that's why there's a little cut right here. Uh, we'll be talking over a little bit about um, this guy right here. Uh, just, we're probably just going to do the unwrapping on this guy. And then mostly the focus today is this cabinet right here. This is the Sega Chunithem. It is one of Japan's um, cool rhythm games. Uh, now there's a whole story with this one. I will go over it um, in due time. We will be unwrapping both of these, talking just a little bit about this. No setup today because I, I'm not comfortable with candy cabs. I don't know too much about candy cabs in general. Um, so I have some friends who are actually in that market who will, who will, who will help me out um, configuring this up and everything. But the idea is to be able to play multiple different kind of games. This uses an older CRT type screen. So it's that old like retro feel. Um, I, I wanted, really wanted one of these. so. Um, I got one and then this is the main star of the video so we're gonna go ahead and do the unwrapping and I'm gonna go ahead and clean it off a little bit because there is some water and we'll have a tour of the insides and um, as well as some of the damage like I said there's a little history with this guy um, and all that so let's go ahead and do the unwrapping. Okay, and that was a very quick unwrapping. Um, now let's talk over what this is, what happened, and uh, what that box was. So this box right here is the new pop materials that will go for this unit. There's um, a little thing that goes over here, a little plate. There's a top part right there, and um, also like a floor mat. So really quickly, this machine has seen some love. I did pay um, a pretty good price. My friend gave me a pretty uh, nice deal on this. Um, this was in a fire, uh, one of uh, Sega's fires. So it is a little toasty. You can kind of see that um, it is a little brown on the bottom. Um, it's also missing um, this portion right here. Uh, my friend said he will ship me that um, later at some point. Um, but yeah, you can definitely tell that uh, that it has seen some love. Um, I think I, I actually have to message them about what happened to the top. Um, I had a little piece right here that uh, I think fell off. I don't know how that happened, um, but we'll try to get it back up there for transport to bring inside because that's that's a little scary to be honest with you. See that I, I don't know if that was originally there and then uh, as you can see in the middle this part this part completely melted off actually this part is okay but this part this is, this is plastic it, it completely melted off I'm probably just gonna go ahead and remove it um, when I move this but it is it is melted it is melted into oblivion um, but like I said it was in a fire and it has seen some love for sure but let's go ahead and go on to this guy right here. Uh, so we'll go, we'll go in the insides of this and then we'll talk a little bit more about this guy right here. And right here is the Astro City, Sega Astro City. This thing is, this thing is old, but it is nice. It's, I've always wanted a little cute candy cab to play some games, um, mostly for Puzzle Fighter because I love Puzzle Fighter. Playing on these kind of machines is is absolutely amazing. Uh, like I said earlier, there's um, 
multiple button layouts uh, for two players, uh, mostly three buttons. So uh, we're gonna figure out what kind of games in there that we can use. Uh, it comes with the keys that we're gonna um, put in here. But like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and do another video on this, maybe another time. I don't know too much about candy cabs and I don't wanna mess it up um, because um, you plug in the wrong things, it's it's not it's not gonna be a great one. But this thing is this is actually in really good shape. Uh, maybe some dings, but hey, you know, for something this old, it is it is really really nice. So next up, I'm actually going to spend some time kind of fixing this boy up here, uh, get it plugged in, and we're going to go ahead and play a song uh, once I get it up and running. So let's go ahead and uh, wish me luck. <laughs> All right, I want to supply a little bit of updates. I had a little bit of a panic attack. Other than I can't find the key, so I actually had to reach inside here to in order to press on it. So my friend, I just contacted him. He's going to send me over a key um, so I can actually access the service menu and all that stuff. But I was able to reach inside there and, and was able to turn on. Now I'll show a picture of what I was freaking out about since um, the top piece did fall down. I have to report that to the delivery um, people uh, because what I thought happened was the piece fell down, like this piece right here. Um, so I thought that dropped down and caused a crack in the screen or a monitor. Uh, so there's a picture. There should be a picture on here. A major freak out. Uh, but everything is up and running at least for right now. Um, I did play one round before I turned it off, but. I'm just doing another quick run to make sure everything's okay. So while that's booting, I actually can go ahead and show off um, what's inside here. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put it all in today because um, I plan to put this inside the house once I once I clean it up a little bit. This is all the pop materials for the uh, new uh, new version, uh, Tune It Them Paradise. It comes with like manuals and um, some other stuff. I might show this off another day, but this is what this looks like. So that back piece, all right, if you see this right here, uh, that chipped off. So I actually have a new one that's actually in there. Uh, so we're going ahead and once everything is squared out, I can put everything together. So this piece even, this piece goes up here, <laughs> but it's kind of, it's kind of broken. Um, I'll fix that, I guess. It, it's kind of melted to pieces, but you know, like I said, this was in a fire. Um, so once I get everything up and running, I'll go ahead and play a song for you guys and um, all that stuff. All right, I got everything set up and it's ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and start a song. Now the song I'm going to pick has a kind of sentimental value to me because it is made by a friend of mine, James Landino. He is an amazing artist. I've worked with him in the past in several DJ sets. Uh, I was a videographer. I'll have a video on the top corner and a little thumbnail right here so you can see all the stuff. I'm actually the main Steadicam operator for this video, but in case, um, fantastic song uh, by James Andino. It was a pleasure working with him. And James, if you are watching this, thank you so much for having such an amazing song in this game, as well as some other rhythm games like Cytus 2 um, and uh, so, so much more. Thank you so much for uh, being able to be in this game for me to play and it was great working with you. So let's go ahead and get started and play this song.
and that's pretty much it for today's video. I'm really happy to have my tune at them. I've been waiting to get this machine for a long time. Yeah, we do have some minor issues. I'm gonna to have to contact the um, delivery service to kind of work things up. My friend told me I'm a little screwed because I signed the paperwork already, but let's uh, let's see if we can get that squared out. So anyways, um, I'm gonna make a couple more videos here and there. It might be a little slow. I'm, I'm an incredibly busy guy. So whenever I post a video, hope you guys will check it out. I um, still have to do a video on the Astro and I'll give some more updates on what we're going to do with the tune. I accidentally pressed the button. So uh, I'll figure out what we're going to do, if we're going to actually move this upstairs or not. I'm a little scared of this, but we'll see. Uh, I don't know how heavy it is because I actually haven't moved it myself. I uh, will be doing a little bit of cleaning here and there to get some of the smoke smudges and stuff, see if that will clear up. But other than that, uh, when the videos come out, hope you guys will check it out. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.